Hi, my name is Steve McGuire. I'm the Chief Product Educator for ClickMagic, and in this short video, I'm going to show you around real quick to help you get up and running as fast as possible. And don't worry if you can't watch this video right now, you can easily watch it at any time by clicking the help link at the top of every page and then selecting video tutorials. So this is your main ClickMagic dashboard. Here you can see some quick stats at a glance, as well as the latest news and updates. I just wanted to point out these two important links right here. If you need to use tracking links in emails or on Facebook, make sure you check these out. And if you're new to tracking, you should also check out our tracking guide by clicking over here. It's an introduction to click tracking and conversion optimization, and it'll teach you everything you need to know to track and optimize your traffic and your entire online business in under an hour. Now you'll find links to all the different parts of ClickMagic up here at the top of every page. The links page is where you create and manage all of your tracking links as well as see all your stats. To create a new tracking link, just click right here and you'll be off and running. Note that there's a help link in the upper left corner of just about every page that you can click on to watch a tutorial video about that page. And throughout the ClickMagic interface, you'll find little question mark icons like this that you can click on for more information as well. The organic page is where you track all of your free traffic. You simply create a new project and insert a small piece of code into your website. And from that point forward, ClickMagic will gather statistics on all traffic that comes from free sources such as blogs, forums, social media sites, and web searches, giving you the full picture of your traffic free and paid. The rotators page is where you create and manage all of your link rotators. And this content menu right here has links to create and manage all of your pop-ups, your ClickMagic notification bars, and countdown timers. The reports page is where you'll find different custom reports that you can generate. And the tools menu contains links to various tools within ClickMagic that you'll use to do things like make bulk changes and manage your custom tracking domains. With ClickMagic, help is never far away. Just click the help menu here at the top of any page and you'll have quick and easy access to our tracking guide, searchable FAQs, our video tutorials, and our help desk. While we're here, let me show you the tutorials page really quick. ClickMagic has a ton of features. At last count, there were over 120 different options, settings, and features to help you make more money online. I know you're busy, so my recommendation is that you simply watch the short introductory videos as soon as you can and then go through the rest of the tutorials whenever you have the time or need to learn more about a specific feature or functionality. There's one more little menu up here on the right, and this is where you'll find your user profile as well as your account information and billing history. On your profile page, you can do things like change your email address or password, but you'll also find other account settings that you'll want to get familiar with. So definitely spend a minute looking these over so that you'll know exactly what's here and what you can customize. Finally, here's your account information and billing page. Here you'll find your account information, your billing and transaction history, as well as buttons to change your subscription, update your credit card, or cancel your account if you ever need to do that. Okay, so that's it. Now let's go ahead and create a tracking link so you can see how simple it is to do in ClickMagic. Let's create a new link. All we need to do to create a tracking link is to enter a destination URL right here in the primary URL. I'm going to have this tracking link go to squarefootgardening.com. Now that's all you need to do to create a new tracking link. But before I do that, I'm going to show you the other options that you have. First, you have the link group here. This allows you to organize your links. Now right now you don't have any groups. You can create them by clicking on this icon right here. I have a few groups created. I have books, I have business, gardening, I have a WordPress group, a YouTube group. I'm going to choose gardening for this example. For the link name, I'm just going to enter square foot gardening. And for my tracking link, you can see it's going to be http colon slash slash. It's going to be this account URL with your username followed by a slash and then a descriptive link ID. Now if you leave this blank, ClickMagic will generate it automatically for you. I'm going to enter a descriptive value here. Because it's square foot gardening, I'm going to choose garden. So now I have everything set up. I have my link group, I have a link name, I have my tracking link set up, I have my destination URL. For the moment, I'm going to leave cloaking set to no. I'm going to explain what that is in a minute. 
you always have the question mark icon over here where you can get full information. But for now, let's just create this link. Okay, let's go in and take a look. Here we go, this is our new tracking link. This is what you'll use in all of your marketing material. Let's preview it. You can see the square foot gardening site pulled up. Now here's what I wanna point out. In the URL bar right here, you can see that our destination URL is showing, squarefootgardening.com. And in the tab, you can see the name Square Foot Gardening that their site automatically puts in. Now let me demonstrate cloaking for you. If we go down and turn on cloaking, you have the option of changing what's in the URL bar to be your tracking link. And then you can put a page title here that will show up in the tab. So I'm going to put Steve's Garden. Now these other two fields are for Facebook. You can look those up using the question mark icon again, but let's save changes. And now let's go back up and check out the tracking link again. Let's preview it. There we go, it pulled up. Now notice in the URL bar, it has our click magic link and the tab says Steve's Garden. That's what cloaking will do for you. And the reason that you would want to cloak is if your primary URL is something that you don't want people to see, or if it's a very long and ugly affiliate link, then you can use cloaking to make it prettier and to hide the details. So that's really all there is to creating your very first tracking link. This is Steve McGuire, and I really wanna thank you for giving Click Magic a try. It's helped our users make a ton of money, and I'm sure it can absolutely do the same for you. Welcome aboard.